Hi everyone, um, and welcome back to another tutorial series on creating a 2D side scroller um, in Unreal Engine 4. Um, in this session today, uh, we're going to look at how do we create um, some damage towards our character. So, if you remember in our last session, what we did is we created a very basic health system which held the character's health, um, and then we decided that if we press the key, it will start doing damage towards our character. Well, obviously we need to improve the system a little bit more because let's say, for example, um, you're wanting to add something in there um, that would like to add some damage towards your character. For example, if there was a bat flying around your scene or if there was bullets hitting your character or um, there's loads of things you could think of that could probably damage your character as a person. So. What we're going to look at is how do we put that into Unreal um, and how do we actually get this system working. Now, I've worked out this is probably the best way to do the system. Uh, if you find a different way of creating the system, then you create your own system. Um, but however, I think this is probably the best way I've found that works well for me. Okay, so let's switch ourselves over and go back to where we were previously. So we had, um, if we look at what we had currently, was just our health system. And basically we're saying uh, every time we press 1, uh, we're going to do 0.25 damage to our character. And then if it was greater than 0, uh, it will keep saying you're alive, so it'll just print a, uh, print a, a string for us. Um, and then if, for example, it was less than 0, then obviously it'll print a string for us and it'll say you are dead. Now, I don't really want that system because pressing a button is a bit silly. Um, we want something that is actually going to hurt us inside the game. Um, so we are going to make something that will definitely hurt us in the game itself. So we're going to take this out. So we're going to get rid of that because we don't need it. And we are going to create ourselves a custom event. Okay, so we're actually going to make ourselves a custom event. And we're actually going to call this D-A-M-A-G, so damage system all right now this is going to be a system that's going to damage our character okay but what we need is something that's going to take the damage and send it to this so we actually want to replace this value okay now to do this we can add stuff to our, our our custom event just here in the inputs here we can create a new input okay so you can see that it's created a new parameter and we're actually going to call this damage dmg in. Uh, actually, damage out, sorry. Damage out. Okay. Now, remember, we're working with floats, so we're going to change this to a float. Okay. So, any damage that um, we take is going to go into this, so the damage that's going to come out will go into this system and then change our character health. So we can quite simply put this node into here and then this node into here. Okay, now basically that's the system. Okay, so every time I now call this event somewhere else, um, we can see that damage will then happen to the character. And I'm going to give you an example of this happening. So once that's done, just save, compile and save. Um, we can close all these down, so we're going to X them all down until we come back to our main screen. Okay. And what we're going to do is let's create, let's have a look at our sprites. Have we got any sprites that we can work with here? Um, should we make the pumpkin the bad man? Um, you guys think we should make the pumpkin the bad man? We could do. Or we could use dirt for a test. Or we could use water for a test. Mm, let's use the pumpkin. All right, sorry, let, let's, use the, let's use the pumpkin as, as damage. Um, first of all, let's actually get rid of the pumpkins that I already had in the game because that would be a bit silly. I'm um, having these pumpkins just in the game itself. Okay, and let's go back to the front view. So, what we're going to do is we're actually going to make this pumpkin into the bad guy. So, he's actually going to damage us. Okay, so if you had to think about if you play Minecraft, he's a slime. All right, and the slime's going to damage us. So, we're going to go into Blueprints, and just the same way we made a platform, we need to make an actor, okay? And the actor's going to be, obviously, the um, the pumpkin. So, we're going to right-click, a new Blueprint class, and it's going to be an actor. And we're going to call this um, Mr. Pump... Pump... 
pumpkin. Is that how you spell it? Pumpkin. Okay. And we're going to open that up. Now, just the same way how we made our lift system, uh, we're going to add a component. And we're going to search for Sprite. <coughs> so, paper spray. And the Sprite we're going to load in is our pumpkin. So, here he is. There's our pumpkin. And remember, we're going to put that into that there. Okay. However, did this have collision? Yes, it does have collision. Because if we have a look, if we scroll down on the right hand side, it does have collision here. We've got things like on component hit, right? On component begin overlap, on components end overlap. And there's all these features that we have with this pumpkin um, that something might happen. Now, sometimes what people would do, and I might be naughty and not doing it, it might not work, so we might have to come back to it. But some people would add um, a box collision around it and then use that as a collision. Um, I'm going to try and test, and I'm going to hope um, that this will work without putting the box collision. Um, but if it doesn't work, we can always go back. That's not much of an issue. Okay. So we're going to say, on component, begin overlap. It's probably the best option. So we're actually going to click on the plus here. And we get this option here. Now this is basically saying, when I overlap the paper spray, it needs to do something. Okay. Now all it needs to do is, remember how we did our percentages, right? Through our UI, we need to connect to our character. So we're going to cast to... Right, so we're going to cast to BP. Oh, no, it's not blueprints. It's 2D, isn't it? 2D side scroller character. Okay. And the object, if you remember, was get player. Right, so player character. Okay, so get our player character. Okay. And what we're going to do is we need to attach this to. If I just bring it up quickly, so um, open up our blueprints of our character. So we need to connect it up to this damage system. All right. So I could quite simply go on, expand this and type in DMG system. And can we see it? <clears throat> no. Why can I not see my damage system? What has one done? That he can't see his own damage event. Damage system replicated. That's only if we want to make it multiplayer. Compiled. Oh, it's damage as in D A M A N G. That's probably why. D A M A N. There we go. Alright. So, damage system. There he is. So, that's the event that we created. Okay, so that was the whole event that was made. And basically, the damage system is how much damage is going to be taken if I hit this sprite. Okay, now at the moment it's saying a zero value, but I could change this to 0 0.25, like we did with the button press. Okay, so every time we press the button, uh, i.e. I think it was number one, it did 0.25 damage. Okay. But I need to just link that up to the target. And there we go. That's the damage system. So when we hit the sprite, we're going to get the player character. We're going to attach it to our 2D side scroller. And then we're just going to send 0.25 damage into, compile and save, into this. So then we're going to send the 0.25 down this pipeline, subtract it from my health, and then it's just going to update. Okay? Sounds simple enough, doesn't it? So let's put our bad man into our scene. So BP, and we're going to put Mr. Pumpkin in. Mr. Pumpkin. And let's play our game. So let's walk into him. Uh, see, this is probably why it wasn't going to work. Okay. So let's go back. All the way back. Just a fix quick. A, a very a quick fix. We should have really added a collision box. I was very lazy. I'm so sorry, guys. I get very lazy sometimes. Um, so we're going to add a collision box, so box collision. And we're just going to make this collision um, fit around our little spray. So we can use this tool and we can just shrink it up, squash it down, 
drink grab. So it's down a bit so fast. Okay, so we can shrink down a bit more maybe. And there we go, I think that'll do. Okay, so all we're doing is just making collision um, around the uh, sprite itself. Okay, um, and instead of saying if we click on paper sprite and then add the begin overlap, we should have done it on the collision box. I'm, I'm so sorry. Um, and it's not much of a difficult fix. All we have to do is just delete this one, so the old paper sprite, and we just connect this one up to there. Sorry, that was my fault. I got a bit lazy. Right, so let's play this now. And if I walk into the box, you can see I'm taking damage. Right, so I took 20, 0.25 damage, hit it again, I'm going to hit 0.25 damage, hit it again, 0.25, again, and I'm dead. Alright, just like that, I'm dead. See that? I'm just going to stay dead for forever. Okay? But let's say, for example, if you take the damage, you want that object to be removed off the screen. Okay? That's very simple that all we have to do is just type in destroy... So destroy, okay, and we can destroy the actor, okay, and it's obviously going to be itself, so the pumpkin, right, so let's play that, and see it then destroys, so it's going to, once I hit it, I take the damage, and then that gets destroyed. So if it was, for example, um, bullets that might be hitting you, okay, you might want to remove that actor, so you don't want the bullets to go through you, because that would make no sense. Okay, or you might have um, objects like little bombs or so something on the floor that would then hurt the character, but you still want it to disappear. So there are those options. So what you could do now is now this is a completely working blueprint is we can scatter these along the map. So we could put bad Mr. Pumpkins everywhere to make the game a little bit more harder. So you can see I'm going to try and dodge the pumpkins and I take damage and, and die. Right, I don't die, but it's fall through the ground. So you can see you can turn your game into a complex game. Okay, the collision was slightly out in that box. That's why I went a bit funny. But you can see, like there, the collision is not there on, on top of the box. But if I go on the side, it is. All right. So that's all to do with this collision box that we created. The best idea is to try and make the collision box. Um, I mean, you can see on the top, there's nothing up here. The actual collision box is lower. So if I had to move that up, for example, that would be okay. Because you're not really going to hit the bottom of the pumpkin, are you? Um, but you're going to hit the side. So you can see there's a bit out on the side, a bit out on this side, and a bit out on the top. So if the, we try this now, so if I jump on top, you can see it now disappears. So I can take damage now from either side, and then I can just die. Okay? So that is how we create um, a damage system. And that's probably the easiest way to do it. So if I decided to add more um, bad things, for example, like, uh, I don't know, another pumpkin that looked a little bit different but still wants to do some damage, I do the same process again. So all I do is I create myself a blueprint. Okay, remember it needs to be an actor. And then I'm going to add my sprite in. Okay, then I'm going to add a collision box. Right, so you add your collision box. You then come down to your details panel and you're going to say on component begin overlap. Okay, so when you overlap, you're then going to go into your event graph, which is going to bring you into here. And you're going to say, cast my 2D side scroller character, but you want it to be part of the player. You then want to send information to the damage system and how much damage do you want to send. So that particular pumpkin does 0.25 damage. And then we want to destroy the actor. Now remember, this is only if you want to remove it. Um, so if you want to, to get rid of that actor once he's hit it, um, you're going to destroy that actor. Okay? So, I do hope you enjoyed that video um, on how to start adding damage um, to your character by components. Okay? Um, and, again, if you've got any questions that you'd like to ask me in regards to what we've done, by all means, um, send requests over comments or or message me or, or, or do whatever deems necessary to get in contact and I'll try my best to explain um, or help you with any situation you might be stuck with. Okay, remember I'm Wayne. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the video. Um, like, subscribe, share if you want to do so, uh, but I'll see you in the next tutorial. See you later. Goodbye.